Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Uh, I hope today we'll have a good time together. Please invite your friends. And, uh, you know, I did not do broadcast for yesterday. Uh, but we are here. And I hope that the Muslims will listen carefully and will learn something for their good. First of all, you know, I see people in the chat, they say, I want to debate Christian Prince. But they are saying, oh, I'm, I'm willing to fly anywhere in the world to debate Christian Prince. This is how the cowards, they claim. Because they knew that Christian Prince is the same as Allah. Nowhere can be found. So how you want to fly to him? So you are making it impossible because you are a coward. You don't want to call me. All what does take you is just a call in Skype. You do not need to fly. However, by not calling me, you prove to me that you are a fly. This is how small you are. They make it impossible, but they are very easy when they debate anyone. They are willing to debate a uh, apostate prophet in Skype. They are willing to debate anyone. But Christian Prince, they have to do it face to face, brother. Face to face. I'm willing to debate Christian Prince face to face. I'm flying to the whole to the end of the world. Absolutely true story. Now, in the front of me, I wish I can play the videos because we can die laughing. In the front of me, we have a video of Mimi Hijab. The title is Amazing Debate. Hostile Atheist Became a Friend of Muhammad Hijab. What is that? I thought a Muslim he cannot take someone is not a Muslim as a friend. The funny is that Mimi Hijab in different video with Jay Smith, he said, I cannot take you as a friend when Jay Smith, he wanted to say, he said to him, oh, you are my friend. Mimi Hijab, he said, no, I cannot take a friend. Somewhat, somebody is hostile to Islam. But the atheist is your friend and he is not hostile. And he is debating you and getting you busted. And, and the funny, he called the debate amazing debate. <laughs> you see the double standard? Look here. In this video, you can search this video. Muhammad Hijab wearing pink. He's pinky. He is saying to Jay Smith, I cannot take you as a friend, sorry. Because you oppose Islam. But isn't it this atheist, he is opposing Islam? So how you say he became a friend? But isn't it the Quran says take not Christian and Jews? Isn't it the Quran says even you cannot take your own family in chapter 58 verse number 22? You cannot even take them your friends? Even if they are your family? You will not find a single one, a Muslim, real Muslim. He will accept to take non-Muslims as a friend. Anyone who is opposing Islam, all those who they are in speaker corner, they are opposing Islam. This is what they are talking to you. So here you see the hypocrisy and the stupidity of Mimi Hijab. He is just a tall kid wearing pink. He liked pinky. Now, it's time for additional spanking. Oh, no screen? Oh, sorry. No problem. This is chapter 58, verse number 22. In the front of you, it says no one, no Muslim can take non-Muslim, even if they are. Your family, your brother, your sister, your mother, your father, your blood, you cannot take them as a friend to you. You cannot even love them because they oppose Allah. So the title in the video here, it says amazing debate. This is Mimi Hijab. Hostile atheist became a friend of Muhammad Hijab. How this happened? I thought you are forbidden to take non-Muslims as a friend, is that a stupid, a stupid title from a tall boy? Isn't it you in this video here? You said to Jay Smith, sorry, I cannot consider you a friend because you are opposing Islam. Well, the atheist, he spanked you harshly. And the funny, he's, he called this debate an amazing debate. Go watch it and die laughing. Amazing. This is amazing. I wish I can play the video because we, it's really a best comedy. I can play it maybe in different channel because, you know, they will, they will claim copyright over it. But I will give you some shots about what he said in the debate, if we can call it a debate. The atheist, he asked him some questions and Muhammad Hijab is using his super intelligent, you know, uh, the atheist, he asked him, how you know that Allah is the truth? He said, because we know. Because he's the truth. Okay. 
How you know that Allah is telling the truth? Because uh, he, you know, we know Allah Himself is the truth. He is light. Like what? The atheist then he said to him, Well, somebody can say that like pizza have the same quality. Pizza. Then Muhammad Hijab, he stuck with the pizza. He found the solution. He said, okay, I can prove to you that the pizza cannot do that. I cannot. The athlete, he said, I am not speaking about the pizza, man. I'm giving you an example that anyone can pick up anything and say, well, I believe in it and it, 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 it is what it is. Muhammad Hijab, no, no, no. He said, no, no. Listen, can pizza, can, can anything omit from pizza? The guy, he said, forget about the pizza. I'm giving you an example. The, uh, Muhammad Hijab, he stuck with the pizza. That's it. He didn't want to go after the pizza. And the funny, they are stupid at the point they are comparing their God to a pizza. I mean, the guy, he said, well, a guy, he comes say, and he say the pizza is like the same as Allah. Have a super whatever power, and he can claim anything. Muhammad Hijab, he stuck with the pizza. He want to prove that Allah is more powerful than the pizza. But this is not what the debate is about. The guy is asking you how you can prove that Allah can do anything. He knows anything. Anyone can claim. And he, the, the, the atheist, I, 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 actually, you should watch the video and die laughing. If you, if you can add some comedy to it, that would be wonderful. The guy is saying, listen, I am not speaking about the pizza. I'm saying to you as an example, anyone can say about anything. And Muhammad Hijab, that's it. He, he took a paper. He said, okay, hold on. You said that pizza, from the pizza, you know, uh, things can omit. So I said, forget about the pizza, man. I'm not talking about the pizza. That's it. He stuck with the pizza. The question, the challenge is, how we know that Allah know anything? And then Muhammad Hijab, he got him busted. He said to him, well, we know that Allah have attribute. As an example, the, the attribute of Allah is light. What the heck is that? Is that a fact? I mean, look at the stupidity. Allah is a light. What is the proof? Somebody said, there's one guy, no witnesses, his name is Muhammad, said Allah is light. That said, this is the proof. And what kind of light Allah is? Huh? The funny when uh, Mimi he said to the guy nothing like Allah so if nothing like Allah how Allah he described himself the same as a tree who have a candle and this candle is a glass lamp is lighted by olive oil how nothing like him and Allah compare himself to lamp and this lamp is in a glass and the glass is where as a shining star and this lamp is a kind of from a blessed tree and the fuel is olive. Do you see it? Is it, is it? This is Quran. How nothing like him, yet he himself is comparing himself to a tree. And the tree have a lamp, and the lamp is in a glass, and the glass is like a shining star. By the way, it doesn't say shining star, it says a cowcup. Cowcup is a planet. And uh, 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 and he is lighted from a blessed tree, which means there's oil, and this oil coming from a blessed olive tree. And yet they say to us nothing like Allah. Look at the stupidity of this verse. I don't know how many of you noticed with me. Uh, by the way, I apologize, really. I was playing Kung Fu, you know, and my my shoulder, you know, like I have a, I have some pain in my shoulder. So <clears throat> I'm not going to stay long, actually. It's, it's really hurt, man. Uh, Last time I played with the church, uh, Kung Fu, it was with the Bruce Lee. True story, brother. Sahih al-Bukhari, brother. Hadith number. And I did beat Bruce Lee, brother. But the only problem, I did not beat him to the end because the electricity would off and Bruce Lee have to go because the, we, we were like uh, taken by camera. You know, it was my turn to beat him in the movie. And then the, the, the director, he said, cut. Uh, electricity is off because we were doing it in Jordan, brother. And as you know, Jordan, everything is fart. Electricity doesn't work. Website doesn't work. The king doesn't work. Nothing work. So he had to go home. And then second day, I was busy, you know, uh, buying carrot for Mimi Hijab. Anyway, so look here. Anyone notice with me how stupid the story is? He is light upon light. Any Muslim can explain that to us? 
Allah is light upon light. It is not light from light. He is light upon light. Anyone notice? What do you mean he is light upon light? So he is two? He is two light? In the top of each other? You see, this is the Muslim translation, not my translation. Don't take me, you know. No, ZB. It doesn't say that, ZB. It says there. We can change any translation. Light upon light. What light upon light? And then it says, Allah guide by his light who wish. Oh, hold on, hold on. Is that, a, is that a metaphorical light or this is a real light? Because guidance does not need light, real light. We're talking about religion or talking about what? Are we talking about a flashlight at the, in, the, in the middle of the darkness where you show me where to go? Here you see that the one who made the Quran is offici officially is a fool. Because Allah compared himself to many things and all of them they are physicals. Tree, lamp, glass, planet, and he have oil as a fuel so Allah cannot be the light itself he is a burning light let us say by a fuel correct guys when Allah he says that he is a light coming from a fuel let, let us go step by step I want you to focus with me please <clears throat> Then I bought those bandage to uh, for the for the pain in the you know in the shoulder, and they are doing nothing. I will not I will not fight uh, with the Brosley again. That's it. This is the last time. You know I have to admit he hit me really. I, I broke only his nose and his toes and his two hands and uh, the his uh, he have three hands actually, uh, because you know he's a uh, Chinese. You know Chinese have three hands. Some of them they have like actually because you know they buy them from the market. Anyway, true story. Uh, but I will not do that. Uh, when I was fighting uh, Bruce Lee, I noticed that Bruce Lee is light upon light because like I got the first hand in my hand, the second hand came and then suddenly from the middle of nowhere, there's a third hand. And I was saying to himself, how he have three hands, man? It's exactly the same as the goat Muhammad was eating. He asked the guy, give me the shoulder of the goat. He gave it to him. Then he asked him again to give him the other shoulder. He gave it to him. Then he asked again for the third shoulder. The guy, he said, the goat have two shoulders. No wonder Muhammad Hijab is following Muhammad the Prophet. Have you ever heard of a goat having three shoulders? It happened only with Muhammad Rasulullah. Now, let us go back. So, Allah cannot be the source of everything because Allah gave us an example. He is the one saying the similarity of Allah is like a light. His light is what? Is as a niche. What is that light? What? The light of Allah. As a niche, okay, hold on. You see, my 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 English is bad and my Arabic is worse, as Muslim they claim. It says here in Arabic, Allahu nuru samawati wal ard mithlu nurihi kamishkat fi misbah. What the heck is that? The translation is accurate. It's like a niche, and this niche in a lamp. If, 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 if. So when Allah, he, ex hold on, I need to get a niche and a lamp, hold on. I cannot just do it this way. I have to explain it in, in, uh, in purple. Give me a second. Niche? May Allah niche you. By the way, in, in German, they use a lot of niche. I mean, they see like niche in H and H, you know, in Germany. Yeah, because they stole it from the Prophet, you know. Yeah, nobody knows bit niche before the Prophet. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me find the. Uh... 
Okay, let me uh, let me explain to you how Allah look like. Mm. We want all the style niche, not the LED. The Muslim will be uh, offended by the LED. We want something authentic, please. What uh, LED? No. Kufar, this is Kufar stuff. Okay, we uh, let us go to Google then. Here we go. So we found in Google an, uh, a lamp in a niche. Okay, here we go. All right. Perfect, perfect. Let us wait for you in the screen. So, you know, you can learn some education from the only educated person in the world, Allah. All right. Let me introduce to you Allah. Allah is the same as a niche. And the niche is where, brother, the niche is where, here we go, we go to the Quran again. Is in a lamp. You see it? So we are still following exactly the Quran. So Allah is like a niche. And it's actually here, no, this is, will be better, hold on. Yeah, this is the oldest style stuff. Yeah, this is what Allah is talking about. You see the guy inside? This is Allah. Do you see him? This is not genie in the bowl. No, this is Allah. So there is a niche and the niche is inside the lamp. And then the, the niche is connected to uh, like a rope. And the rope go down to the olive oil. And this is how Allah, he light himself up. And the funny, they say to us, nothing like Allah. And then we find that Allah is the same as a niche inside the lamp, and there is a rope coming from his bum, and that rope is... Wow. Dip it, dip it, dip it, inside the oil. And this is how Allah light up. Am I making things up, Muslims? So you want to prove to the atheists that Allah is a light by saying to him it's an attribute to Allah I mean the answer itself is a PhD in stupidity the guy is asking you how you know that he's light he say it's an attribute to Allah the guy said to him maybe this is a attribute for a pizza <laughs> he said no I can prove it for you that pizza cannot doesn't have this attribute nothing you omit from the pizza but what this idiot is just making fun of you he's not talking about pizza you idiot He is not talking about pizza. He is giving you an example, saying to you, anyone can say anything. I mean, you, you know, I ask you, what is the proof? You say to me, you say to me, Allah is a light. And Allah is the truth. What is that? It's an attribute. Okay, where do you get this from? The Prophet said. Are you sure? You know why you guys you are laughing? Show respect. Here we go. We, we get you Allah inside the niche. I was confused about how Allah light, light, uh, light work. You see, if I, if a Christian prince, he make a verse like this, but it's not in the Quran. Just imagine, and say this is how Allah light function. You know how what Muslims they will say to me, liar, liar, CP. It doesn't say that, CP. Hmm? It's a weak hadith, CP. Uh -oh. no no they cannot say they cannot say he is copying from the old testament let me tell you why because the old testament have totally different meaning you see muhammad is a thief we have to admit everything he have is taken from somewhere. So he take from the Old Testament, the New Testament, but here this is totally different meaning.
and Muslims they have no explanation explanation for it. I mean, this is stupid. Because when Jesus says something, go read it. You will see how easy to understand it. When Muhammad he says something, well, it doesn't make sense. What do you, what what Allah have to do with the olive tree, and the olive of uh, the, the light of Allah is lighting from the olive. I mean, he is he is comparing himself to a niche of a lamp. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Any Muslim have a comment? <clears throat> Nobody? Not even one. Me no, okay. What about half one? Me okay. What about quarter one? That's it. All the Muslims are out of uh, options. Mm -hmm. Oh. If you are confused, let me introduce to you Muhammad, the prophet of confusion. A thief who did not know what he is talking about. Actually, you know, the Muslim once they say to me, not, not once, many times, do you know that the Bible speak about virgin in heaven, brother? <laughs> <laughs> yes, the word virgin appear in the Bible, brother. Really? Yeah, in Matthew 25, brother. Yeah. Really? <laughs> well, those, those, are not, those are not women for sex, my friend. <laughs> those about the pure ones waiting for God, ready. Some, they are ready and their lamp is full, which means they are ready with their prayer and good deeds and good work. And there is people who they are bankrupt, lazy, they do nothing. And then the Lord, he will come, whereas no one knows that he is coming. And those who they are ready, they will be saved. And those who they are not, they will be not. Foolishness. This is why the verse saying, for when the foolish took their lamps, they took it without oil. Because Jesus said from their fruits, you shall know them. But what this is about here, what we see in the front of us. And the funny, verse number 34 says, And verily we have sent down for you revelation that make it, make it plain. <laughs> But isn't it the Quran says that the Quran is full of verses and chapters? Nobody knows what they mean, save Allah. What make it a plain? Okay, he explains this verse for me. Here we go. The verse before it, it says that Allah, he made the Quran plain. Okay. Who is a Muslim is willing to explain to me this verse? Anyone? It's easy, plain. I mean, don't you see how easy it is? How Allah oil is the same as a lamp, as a niche in a glass. Is Allah is inside a glass? I mean, what, what is the necessity of telling me about the glass and the niche and the oil? You see, Allah can say, well, I am the same as a shiny star. Okay. No problem. When you see a shiny star, the sun. Okay. But what this is about? Lamp, glass, a niche, 
and then he says a planet and then he says uh, and have oil and the oil is coming from a blood tree what this is about hmm Any Muhammadan? So the atheist he, he said to Mimi Hijab, what is the proof that Allah is God? or he is exist or etc he says to him okay let me prove to you that the pizza don't have attribute this is the proof the pizza the funny that Mimi Hijab he said that Allah is all-knowing all-seeing if Allah is all-knowing all-seeing so why your prophet is saying this Sahih al Bukhari. It's a weak hadith, CP. Allah Messenger said, and look here between two brackets. This is like, this is, you see, you see, coronavirus. They are trying to use now uh, some kind of material contain P and B and UH to fight coronavirus. You know, P, B, UH. It's like a, uh, uh, a puppy. Uh, barbecue you have it something like that you know it's like a high, high like high high classified information we cannot go there said our lord blessed and superior come every night down nearest the heaven to us when the last third of the night last third of the night why the earth is flat and rem and, and, uh, uh, remains saying is there is anyone to invoke me you do not know if there's anyone invoking if there is anyone praying to I respond to his why Allah is coming down every day do you see it it says he come down Allah he comes down every night I feel sorry for you Allah I mean driving for four hours you get tired Allah how, how many hours do you have to drive and he have to drive every third part of the night, which means Allah never sleep. And Allah like to drive at night. This is something we learn. Correct? Why Allah don't go down? I mean, why he is going down where there's nobody is praying anyway? Because this is when people are sleeping. Secondly, a Muslim, he's a smart Muslim, will say, CP, he want to see only the ones, he want to reward the ones who is praying early. Hmm. So he ordered him to pray five times a day. And then if you don't if you pray as he said you don't re, he don't reward you mm-hmm okay so we should not pray as he said we should pray only in this time because this is the only time he listened to us and why he come down because he is all-knowing because if he is all-knowing he do not need to go down he can hear it from there correct or what about this? You know, Muhammad he claimed that he see he, he got knowledge from Allah, and like as an example, you know, we have to repeat some of them. Muhammad he claimed that if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy, and will resemble the father, and if the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl, will resemble the mother. Now, Allah is all knowing. Uh, Mimi Hijab he said to the atheist, obviously this is true. Science prove it. Don't forget, don't, don't worry about the donation, my friend. I'm not here because you, you make donation. This is the last of, you know, I think I, I, I did all what I did all my life, receiving nothing. So this is the donation is something new. So don't worry about it. So look here. Where Muhammad did get this information from? From Allah. 
Mimi Hijab, he said to him, Allah is all knowing, all seeing. Mm -hmm. There is a hadith actually, I find it very interesting. Man, I will never fight with the Brosley again. This guy, I mean, he, he hit me with one, like, unbelievable. I never thought he had three arms. Otherwise, I was winning. He got a thick arm. Uh, <clears throat> let us see. It says... Uh, okay. Let us see. Brothers and sisters, please sit down because we are going to share with you a top secret information about Allah, the all-knowing, the all-seeing. Are you ready? Read carefully. Abdullah ibn Salam heard the news of the arrival of Allah Messenger at the Medina. While he was from uh, 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 in a farm, sorry, in a farm, collecting its fruit, so he came to the prophet and he said to him, "I will ask you. I will ask you three things which nobody knows unless he to be a prophet." Okay, hold on. You know what, guys? What if I go to speaker corner and I ask those three questions to a Muslim and he answered me? Is that me as a prophet? <laughs> Secondly, the guy saying. I will ask you three questions. Nobody knows except a prophet. But he himself, he knew the answer. That means that mean he must be a prophet too. You know what I mean? Guys, do you, do you understand me? As long no one knows the answer, save the prophet. Save a prophet. But the guy who's asking the question himself, he knew the answer. So now we have two prophet, Muhammad and, the, and Abdullah ibn Salam. I mean, the stupidity have no limitation in Islam. It does not stop in, in a speaker corner. It goes back, back 1400 years ago. Okay, wisdom, wisdom. Firstly, I love it when they say firstly. When, when a Muhammad and he say firstly, it's mean a disaster is coming. But the disaster will get bigger when Christian Prince says, Are you sure? <laughs> Firstly, are you sure? Firstly, are you sure? Christian Prince, don't say, Are you sure? I will leave, okay? What is the first uh, portent of the hour? If, 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 hold on, hold on. But the guy Muhammad already have a thousand hadith before he said, What is the first portent of the hour? Many times. So this question is invalid, stupid, but a uh, question. What is the first meal people will eat in paradise? What the heck? Muhammad, he knew the menu. If I call Zakir now, or Thikth. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, I don't know if you can do it. I mean, you are so skinny, Zakir Naik. I don't think it's like going to work with you. But uh, for the sake of argument, still, what is the first meal you will eat? First of all, the Prophet said, Aha, what the Prophet said? The first meal, I call me later. I'm busy right now because I'm eating. <laughs> Guys, those questions, nobody knows the answer for them except the Prophet of God. No one. What is the first meal? And how this guy, he knew that nobody know the answer for those except the prophet of God. Okay, what if I say a chicken? How will he knew that is not true? Did Allah spoke to Abdullah ibn Salam? Or Abdullah ibn Salam was taking hashish? Are you, are you following with me guys? I mean, stupidity is beyond, this is beyond stupidity. This is an insult to stupidity. Isn't it? Who this guy knew? 
let it go, man. I mean, what's wrong with you? You want to just uh, go over the story like in details, like one by one? Let it go. Man, thank God you are not in the police. In the police, brother, not police. And then the second question. Second question and what make the baby look like its father? If, if, if. This is deep. Look how the question level changed. The first was easy. Like when the first time... The second was a little bit harder, the menu. What is the first in the menu? The third, this is deep in about Zex, brother. This is about Zex. What make the baby look like his father? You know, like, <clears throat> when I was born, this was long, long time ago, like, you know, I don't know, 100 years, 200 years, long time ago. They told me my father, he was looking at me and he says, why my son look like this he looked like his uncle i'm not going to tell you how my uncle looked like you know i don't want to scare you really but uh, uh, i have a uh, the skin color like my dad uh, the hair color like my dad uh, my uh, uh, what I have, what else I have? Yeah, and I have the wallet of my dad too. Okay, just to let you know, okay, so, because I get the wallet because he was busy carrying me, like, you know, like, hey, 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 hey. you know, he's happy, he got a son, like, you know, <laughs> so he doesn't know what's going on. You know, this is what happened when you read about Muhammad, you know, you, you, you learn how to grab a wallet. So anyway, what made the baby look like his father? Muhammad here is almost going to get busted. I mean, those are really tough questions. The guy is like coming like a lion. Like those questions you cannot answer. Answer me right now. And then the prophet said, Just now, just now what? Jibreel has informed me. Like what? What happened? What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What happened exactly? I cannot handle the truth. Just now, Zabril informed you. Yes, brother. Look at this. This is what happened when you try to challenge a connected prophet. Hmm. What, what? Just now. Look how fast, man. The guy, he just finished the question. Just now. Okay, where, where did you bring he told you that? The guy is in the front of you. And here you need to ask yourself, like, is Muhammad, is, is, is he wired or wireless? <laughs> I know you guys, you hate me, I know, because what I, what I say. I oh, know that, I don't know. Stupidity is amazing. Jibreel just now told me. Was Prophet, <laughs> was he, uh, I'm serious, was he a wired or wireless? Do you think Allah, he put like uh, like uh, Bluetooth in his ears? Jibreel told him, not Allah. No, Jibreel, because Muhammad don't speak to Allah. That's it. The delivery guy, Jibreel. Okay, what Jibreel told him? Abdullah said, Jibreel, look at this Abdullah. He's like surprised, like, what? Like, are you serious? Jibreel, 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 the one, we guy, Jibreel, the same Jibreel? The one I know too? Then the Prophet said, yes, Abdullah, he said, he is among the enemy. The angels is the enemy of the Jews. If, 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 if. Okay, Muslims, challenge. Where we can find this story that the Jews, they hate Jibreel, Gabriel? Where did you get this from? I mean, unbelievable. On that, the Prophet recited the holy verse. Whoever is the enemy of Jibreel. 
Let him die in his furry. A furry? May Allah furry you. The guy he just said the Jews are the enemy of Jibreel Muhammad. He gave him a verse. I'm connected. I'm telling you, this guy is connected. Right away, he received a verse about uh, Jibreel. Hmm. Okay. And then. Uh, <clears throat> Allah Prophet he said that Jibreel told him the following as for the first portent of the hour it will be fire that will collect the people from the east and the west but this is totally different contradiction for what he said in many other hadith go right now don't don't listen to me go right now to sunnah.com you know and type the hour sign of the hour or the hours and you will find that Muhammad, he is lying because he, he brought a different uh, sign of... Uh, okay, let me do it in the front of you. Hold on, hold on. They will say no, CB. It doesn't say that, CB. I hate it when I type in, 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 in uh, like in English and then it comes in Arabic or, or the opposite. Oh boy. Let us see. Muhammad and his lies. <clears throat> Let us start with this. Da -da 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 -da. Ta -da -da. The Prophet said, Five things have passed, i.e., the smoke, the defeat uh, of the Roman, and the splitting of the moon. Mm -hmm. Okay, let us see. Hold on. I want to see. Yeah, hold on. I'm trying just to find where 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 we can find the hadith. Hmm. Here we go. The hour will happen when this happened. Six things will happen. The rising of the sun from the west. The smoke. The Dajjal. Do you see anywhere it says that the signs of the hour? Where where it says it's going to be uh, fire will collect people from the here and there. Where it says that? What was the question? Go back to the question. Three questions, nobody know the answer. What is the first meal? And what, uh, what is the first portent of the hour? Right? I mean, it's very simple. But this is not what he said in different place. And that goes and goes and goes forever. Because each time Muhammad, he speak about the same thing about the judgment day, The story is different. And remember here, Muhammad is being asked about the most important thing, right? 
Muhammad, he is answering to about the most important things. What is the first time? In different hadith, Muhammad he said, <clears throat> all those hadith is about the hour. Let us see. I heard the message of Allah saying that the last hour would come when the Romans would be the majority of among my, my, mankind. I mean the Roman, say the Indonesian, <laughs> say the Chinese, <laughs> say <laughs> the Roman. So this is when the judgment day will come, but in the, in the other hadith, the story is different. Even in Islamic website, it says, the report is about this is differ. There's many reports contradict each other. Why? Because Muhammad is a thief, he's a liar. But anyway, this is a Sahih hadith, so we have to go with it. Is it Sahih? Yes, it is Sahih Bukhari, my friend. If you go here, continue, it says, uh, about the, 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 the paradise, sorry, about the baby. Muhammad is telling us how the baby is made. And as and if a man discharged proceed that of the women, then the child will resemble the father. And if the women discharge proceed the man, then the child resemble the mother. Okay, hold on. Is that a mistake made by Muhammad? Can a Muslim say, well, Muhammad is just a man? He is he thinks this way and he's wrong? He don't dare to say that, number one. Number two, Muhammad, he claimed that everything he received is coming from Allah, delivered to him by Jibreel. And the proof is in front of us. Here we go. In the same hadith, it says, just now, Jibreel has informed me about that. So Muhammad is not speaking of his own knowledge. It is speaking of the knowledge of Allah. So when Mimi Hijab, in his debate with the atheist, which is funny and stupid, saying to him, Allah is all-knowing, it's an attribute, it's a fact. Who is a stupid here? If both the discharge, this is the good question. Look, somebody here is asking a serious question. Okay, hold on. One of you is asking a very serious question here. Uh, what if both discharge in the same time, my friend? Me and you, we are lucky that your dad and my dad, my mom and your mom, like all, all of us, they did not do that because of brother. If that happened, according to Muslims, it's impossible. Because as you see, there's only one of this, either this or that. That's it, hello. <laughs> Allah will not let it happen. He will make either the female come first or the male come first. Now the Muslim, they will say, oh, it doesn't say that, uh, ZB. It did not mean, uh, the, and might, not only that, they might add the DNA, and they might add the chromosome, and they might add all the garbage you can imagine. The guy is making it simple. And here we go. Let me show you the, the other hadith. If a man have orgasm first, and Muhammad even explained what is that water. He described it as a water. And this water is coming out, this charge, not is inside. The Prophet B P U H H E O O F M S A W said, the man water is thick. And look how expert this man, Prophet. I mean, he knew? How he knew this? How he knew that the man water is thick and white and the woman water is thin and yellow? Hold on. Muhammad? look like Muhammad he slept only with women who they have thin and yellow discharge what does that mean exactly are they infected with STD 
because you know for me I, 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 I was reading this over and over and then somebody supposedly I don't know a doctor a nurse I don't know said but this is not right because women who have such this charge they are infected they have an infection so look here what the hadith confirm Muhammad is calling the water for both the man and the women Muhammad saying this charge for both do you see it comes first do you see it comes when the Muslim today try to explain this stupidity they say oh chromosome brother if the man the chromosome is more uh, controlling brother the chromosome will make a baby a boy oh hold on hold on this is stupid if the women the chromosome the man the chromosome first of all the sperm is the one who decide if it's a baby boy or a girl your prophet is saying clearly that this is charge control what the baby will be how that can be how Allah is all-knowing yet Allah he says just such a stupid thing Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Exactly, the Quran is very scientific. Actually, uh, Mimi Hijab, he said in the video, uh, Allah, the one, the oneness of Allah is possible to understand. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What, what, what? what? You see, I'm moving forward in, in, his, in his talk. He said, the oneness of Allah is possible to understand. possible I thought you Muslims are sure and you understand it it is possible to understand okay hold on hold on why it is possible which means it might be not possible when you say it's possible which mean maybe 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 yes maybe no why the oneness of Allah is possible to understand First of all, when you say Allah is one, you see in the Bible it says Echad, and Echad is not one as a number, it's one as a unity. This is why the Bible says that the man he leave his parents, his family, and he will join his wife, and they became Echad. But yet they are two. So this is not about a number, this is about unification, unity. Muhammad is a thief. He took the word Echad, he put it in the Quran, and he says, Qul Allahu Ahad. Say that Allah is Ahad. This is exactly what the Old Testament says. Say that your God is one Lord, one God, Echad. But Muhammad, he cannot use that word because Echad is not about one as a number. It's about one as a unity. Otherwise, can we count God? If we say Allah is one, there's mean there is maybe two. One, two, three, four, five. Right? And Allah the one who is one, yet he still he say stupid things. So Allah is one, he is two, he is four, who care? You know, the Muslim they think they have a superior belief from uh, Hindus or uh, uh, Buddha because they believe that Allah is one. So, there is people in San Francisco, they have a church, it's called the Church of Satan. They worship Satan, literally. Their God is Mr. Satan. Peace upon him. And they believe he's one. So, So as you see, Islam is just a collection of a stupid talk. The Muslim, they try to flood you with words and try their best to talk too much, mute you, and say nothing. And I will give you a, a clear proof. Who is a Muslim is willing to call me right now 
and it proved to me that Allah is all-knowing. <clears throat> is that fair, guys? We are not the same as Muslim. They challenge, Kurusi B, I'm willing to go and fly to the end of the world to debate you. You know that Kurusi P, he don't uh, do uh, uh, such a thing. And this is why you are making such a challenge, because you are a coward. We do not need you to fly anywhere. What about you call us? It's for free. Any Muslim? And by the way, all Muslims, they expose me. I never saw a Muslim who don't expose me, man. This is why. But they are the one who have a burqa day, not me. I mean, I'm exposed, but I... Okay. Ah, the one who is exposed, you do not need burqa. Ah, okay. I was wondering. I wonder how. I wonder why. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to call me? I just opened my Skype. Only Muhammadan, please. Anyone? Any Muhammadan? <clears throat> I'm very famous in Indonesia. Okay, well, is that a good thing? I'm not sure. I mean, why people they call me when I am not online? I don't understand. I go online, I find like a thousand calls. Look, I have to close them one by one now. But I am not online. Why you call me when I am not online? Are you okay? Uh, don't you know that I am the same as Allah come only in the third part of the night? And I say, who want to call me? So I can respond to him? Yeah, the funny, the Muslim, they say, Christian Prince is a keyboard warrior. So what are you? The one who's doing video in YouTube, what are you? What? He's a keyboard warrior? What do you want to use? Gun? What What exactly you mean? I mean, keyboard warrior. Christian Prince is a keyboard warrior hiding behind the computer. What do you want me to stay in, in front of it? No, I'm not behind it, I'm in front. Uh, what about you? Where are you staying? Ah, you are the uh, speaker corner warrior? Man, that is a very, a lot, a lot of uh, jihad there. Taking a cell phone, wearing your pinky shirt, sunglasses, perfume. Huh? Like supposedly they are the warrior. And look, I hear, I sit behind my computer, wearing my short. Actually, I, I'm not wearing my short right now, to be honest with you. Because what happened, you know, when I did uh, the, the karaoke with the Bruce Lee brother. Brother, by the way, Bruce Lee, he said to me, if you beat me up, I will convert to Islam. Because he knew I speak against Islam. So I said to myself, you know what? I'm not going to beat him up this time because I don't want to be the reason for him to convert to Islam. True story. This is true story. And this is the reason, brothers and sisters, I did not uh, beat up uh, Bruce Lee. Otherwise, it's very easy. Take me like two seconds, like you know, like but it's very like ching, you know, like I can give him like my tricks, you know, like you know, or or I can read for him one verse from the Quran. He will get dizzy and he will faint. Especially about Allah sending Harut and Marut to, to open Holy Buddha school for magic. I mean, imagine if you say that to. Uh, uh, what his name? Bro. Uh, by, by the way, do you know what his, his real name is? Bros and Lee. Okay. I will tell you what happened to him because he was fighting with me before. He got many bruises. That's why they call him Bruce. You know, Bruce. I, 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 uh, tons of bruises, brother. All right? And, and because after I did the bruise him, he went to his cousin. His name is Lee. So people, they remember this story very well. Like he got the bruise, he went to Lee. Each time I beat him up, he go to Lee. Because his, like his cousin is like really strong. 
you know, and he challenged me to come to speaker corner. Okay. Now, if I show Bruce Lee, uh, if he's an atheist, that Allah, he opened Harut and Marut, Hariput, Hari, look, guys, you believe it? Even the first name of the angel is Harut. Isn't it very clear, close to Hari Potter? Allah, he opened a school in the Babylon Tower. Harut and Marut? Look, his name is Harut and Marut. They are, they are like, uh, uh, you know, uh, Mimi and Sisi. This is uh, Allah is not all knowing. Allah is all knowing. He he sent down two angels to open a school of Hori Buter to teach you, brother. Karaki. Any Muhammadan have an objection? No, ZB. It doesn't say that. Okay, hold on. Let's, let us go and read the Taf 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 that's tough, tough, ta 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 What a crazy, stupid cult, man. Oh boy. <clears throat> because they will say it doesn't say that, you know them, yeah, you know them. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you say. They will accuse you of being a liar. You are a liar. You are a liar, and you know it. All right. So this is brother Ibn Kathir website. Let us see, <clears throat> brother. Brothers and sisters. This is where magic started. Okay, hold, you know, where is the story? I mean, what is this? Here, here we go, here's the story. And such a thing that come down at the Babylon to the two angels, Harut and Marut, but neither, neither of two, those two angels taught anyone such a thing till they had said, disclaimer, disclaimer, we are for a trial, so to believe now. <laughs> I mean, look at this amazing school, brother. Before you start and join Hori Buter School, you have to sign a disclaimer. Yes, brother. And the disclaimer, uh, it says that you have to sign here that you know that this is a trial. A trial. It's not just a dedication. This is a trial for you. So disbelieve not, okay? Man, look how deep. Allah, He is very careful. Before He opened the school, He studied it. Like, what, what we should do? Just bring students and that's it? Or we should make them sign uh, disclaimer and then after you sign the disclaimer brother you are welcome la 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 I mean it's perfect for the age I mean it's, I don't know how old are you if you are co convinced with Muhammad I think I think this is very good I mean it's cool Islam is cool, my friend. This is not like for 10 years old. I was, no, no, this is a true story. And you sign a disclaimer, what you would do exactly, what the disclaimer contain. They will tell you that this trial or this magic is just to teach you the following. If you use it for a different purpose, you are responsible for that, okay? You will be in trouble. And from those angels, people learn that 
by which they cause separation between the man and his wife. If, 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 if. Okay, hold on. It's a moment of the truth. Who of you here is divorced? Give me one in the text. Who of you is divorced? Anyone is divorced? Nobody here is divorced? We have 700, 800 people, not even one is divorced. Man, the people, they forget about divorce these days. Nobody? 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 No? No? Okay, we, finally we have one is divorced. Okay, hold on. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. I mean, just give me one, man. We are just joking. Guess what, brother? The one behind you, divorce, the divorce, not divorce, the divorce, is not your mother-in-law. Absolutely. It is Allah who sent the angel of Harut and Marut. And Harut and Marut, they put a spell between you and your wife. Now we knew why get divorced, why people get divorced. You think because your wife is not suitable for you no more? Or your husband changed? No, no, you are poor. Miskeen, miskeen, you are miskeen. That's what the Muslims they say. Christian prince is miskeen. Poor, you don't understand. No, brother. This is Allah. He sent two angels. Their name is Harut and Marut. Why Mimi Hijab did not tell the atheist about this story? The atheist immediately will convert to Islam. That there is a God. He sent two angels to teach magic. And the purpose of this magic is noble. I mean, do you, do you, do you notice how noble this purpose is? King, King, why you are saying ha 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 ha? Okay, hold on, King. I will tell your mother-in-law about you. I mean, this is... An, look at this. Guys, sometimes I, com I compare between Allah and Donald Trump. I like Donald. You know, I mean, in the morning, sometimes you eat Donald. It's not Donald, it's Donald. Hello? Anyway. Uh, there is a Saudi guy. He said that he divorced his wife... Uh, two of them after he saw Ivanka Trump when she went to uh, guys do you know what happened when Ivanka Trump she went with her dad to Saudi Arabia the whole country there's a guy he built the mosque called Ivanka you believe it another guy he went in TV and he made a poetry and he want to marry her I mean the whole country went mad the whole country is in hashish the woman she is coming with her husband she's married this guy, he want to marry her. This guy, he built the mosque in her name. The other guy, he called his... Uh, uh, the, the first, I swear by Allah, the first five daughters I will have, I will call them Ivanka. Hmm. So, one of them, he divorced his wives, or one of them at least, or two, because of Ivanka. He looked at his wives and looked at his Ivanka. I said, man, what happened to me? How I marry those? But no, this is not the reason. The real reason is Harut and Marut. Who of you is an atheist and he don't really feel like converting to Islam immediately? Hmm? Who of you really? Don't, shouldn't you convert? Look at this. It doesn't say that, absolutely, ZB. Yeah, but you know, <clears throat> and such a thing that came down at the Babylon. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why Allah, he could not find a tower better than the Babylon? Why Allah, he chose the Babylon? <laughs> oh boy. Because at that time there was no trade center, brother. This was the highest building. It's obvious. Where you want the angels to land down? For sure the Babylon. Isn't it obvious? So Allah is a sorcery teacher. That's what the Quran is saying. The angels, they learned sorcery from who? From Allah. 
Allah is the one to him. And who is the one who sent the angels? Allah sent them in a mission. He calls Zakir Naik, Tarinam, 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 Zakir. Yes, Allah. Alhamdulillah, Bismillah, Lahman, Lahim. Awudu billahi min at titan al-ladim. Alhamdulillah, min tabi alameen, Adam, Adamin, Rabbim. Zakir, shut up. Bismillah, Lahman, Lahim. Awudu billahi min at titan al-ladim. Shut up, I am Allah. And did I record? I have to pray for you. That Bismillah, Lahman, Lahim. Alhamdulillah, Adam, Amin. Shut up. I have to tell you something. Call immediately. Harut and Marut and tell them they have a mission I will send them to open a school in the Babylon shut up man stop listen to me what the heck is that man a nosy be I mean, this is stuck with me because I like it. Like, no, see, you know, all of them, they say no, CB, except this guy, he sing it. No, CB. What a tongue twister. What do you mean tongue twister? You do not need to twist your tongue. When you talk about Allah, your brain will be twisted. Just read this. You will be twisted, all of you. Look, look at your neck. Look, do you have a mirror? Okay, open your camera. You do not need a mirror. Open your camera and turn the selfie. Not the other one, man. The selfie. Look at you. You see, you are twisted already. Look at this. You feel like pizza tower now. Pizza? It's called pizza. What is this? <sighs> but neither of those two angels taught anyone such a thing till they had say, we are for a trial. So disbelieve not. Abu Jafar, really Abu Jafar is going to talk now? Yes, brother. Ar Razi, he said, that Ar Arabi, brother, Ar 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 he said, Ibn Abbas said, when someone come to the angels to learn magic. Angel? Uh, yes. Uh, my name is a Christian prince, and I want to join the school. Sorry, we cannot accept you. Uh, why? Uh, because you are finished. You are finished. And you are a boy. And you don't, you know, you have only Skype. You have to come in person. I have to come to Compass? Exactly. Ah, this is in Compass School. I have to go to the Babylon Tower. I thought I can do it online. <laughs> and they would discourage him and say to him, we are only a test. Look at this. Hold on, hold on. This is need a special effect. We can't just do it this way. I mean, come on. This is serious here. I don't know how many of you uh, understand the power of Allah, but the power of Allah it doesn't work without some, uh, some special effect. We have to make special special effect. Especially the, the, this effect, you know. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Let us see the special effect. When someone come to the angel to learn magic, 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 they would discourage, 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 discourage him, 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 and say to him, him. We are only a test, test, test. So do not fall into disbelief, leave, 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 leave. They had knowledge, knowledge, knowledge of what is good and evil, evil. Brothers and sisters, sisters, sisters. If you are an atheist, 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 go to Islam immediately, literally, 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 and her sister. That's amazing. How Allah can do that? I mean, how in the world you are an atheist and you did not convert to Islam right now? What's wrong with you? After
after all this knowledge been revealed to you and still you don't want to believe that Allah is all knowing? Baby low tower, angels teach you magic and the magic is to make uh, people divorce. You know what? I don't know if those lawyers who work in divorce cases only, if they go to the school of Allah, Do we have any Muslim here? Have any comment? Are you sure you are a teacher, not a comic? No, my friend, you see, the best teacher is the one who don't make the students start yawning, 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 yawning. Correct? You will see always, as long as you are talking about this. Hold on, hold on. See, somebody is asking me this. I'm not going to change topic. We will stay in the topic. It's comic. Comic and her sister, they say hello. When they heard the Prophet, they hold him from his elbow. The truth will set you free. Are you sure you are a teacher, not a comic? Okay. The Prophet brother said, Allah, he likes sneezing. Allah like what? Those who sneeze. And Allah, he hate those who do yanim. So my brother, I'm trying to make Allah like you. Because if I am a teacher and I'm boring, they will start yanim. And guess what? If you start yanim, I'm saving you. The insurance will increase, brother, because shaitan will jump inside your opening and he will laugh at you like, ha, 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 ha. See what I say, brother, what I'm doing? I'm saving you. This is not about comic. You get me wrong. You got the wrong idea, brother. This is the pure science. I'm trying to protect your health, protect your opening, and make Allah like you. <sighs> Once I open a chat room in Pal Talk, it's called Let Us Sneeze for the Sake of Allah. The Muslim, they reported me to Pal Talk and they closed my chat room. You believe it? <laughs> I mean, what's wrong with you? Allah, he said, Allah, he liked those who sneeze. So, don't you want to support Allah? I open a chat room, it's called, let us sneeze for the sake of Allah. As simple as that. <clears throat> Zaki, Zaki, I call you. Okay, why you don't call me, Zaki? You call me. Call me, my friend, Mr. Zaki. So, the sneeze is from Allah and yanin from shaitan. So now we knew source of two things which was unknown before Islam. Yarning is coming from where? And sneezing is coming, sneezing is, is not coming from coronavirus. No. Sneezing is coming from Allah. So if you go to China right now and you start sneezing, all the Chinese, they will love you, man. They will run around you. They will take selfie with you. Please, please speak because this guy, Allah, he like him. Are, are you the one who play for me? Uh, he said to me, liar, and you hang up. As, as long as I block you, it's mean you're a kid. I block kids only. Hmm? What do you think? Anyone knows? What is this? So my friend, I teach you and I keep you happy and excited because this is the best way to make people remember stories. Otherwise, I'm not here to be a comedian, my friend. Trust me, I hate the topic. Disgusting. I'm sick of it year after year after year, trying my best to teach the world how stupid this cult. So for me, this is not a comedy. This is a drama. But I do my best to deliver my message to people so they can love listening, enjoy it, 
in the same time we deliver the good fruits where we show them that Islam is nothing but a stupid made by a stupid man for only who decide to be stupid and if you don't believe me here we go it's in the screen All right, Allah is wisdom. Okay, Zaki, is that a wisdom or a stupid? Zaki, guys, Zaki is saying Allah is wisdom. Oh, I don't, I don't see the wisdom. What kind of wisdom Allah He sent two angels to teach magic so a man he can uh, fight with his wife? Tell us the wisdom about this, Zaki. Listen, if I if I block you, that's meaning you did something wrong. However, I uh, you can change the name in Skype and call me a different name. Very easy. Guys, what do you think? Is it wisdom that there's God? He sent an angel, two angels to open a school to teach magic. And that magic and the purpose of it to make the man and the wife divorce. Is that a wisdom? Or oh, this is stupidity? It doesn't say that, CB, I know. Hmm? And you cannot say this is Hadith, uh, this is weak, this is Quran. What do you think? Yeah, anyway, it's getting late, you know, for me. As I told you, I was playing with the Brosley. So really, I need to take a break soon. Uh, but this is how stupid this cult is and the funny they want to convert people to Islam and by the way they can convert people to Islam because they don't show them the truth they show you lies there's, there's millions of videos on YouTube about science and the Quran which is absolutely nothing but a fraud nothing but a fraud I am misquoting yeah, exactly. Misquoting what? I'm, I'm reading in front of you. What misquoting? Yeah. Anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here. Don't forget to download the video and share it with your friends. Uh, tomorrow is Saturday. I hope I can come online. For sure, if you are a subscriber, you will be able to know. So don't forget to subscribe if you did not subscribe yet. Uh, hold on, we have a caller, maybe a Muslim. Let us see. Uh, this is uh, this is Mr. Zaki. Mr. Zaki is calling. Hello? 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 Yes, Mr. Zaki, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, fine. What do you want to say to us? Uh, proof that the Prophet uh, avoided debating with uh, Christians of Najran. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, prove it. It's very easy. In the Quran. Prove it. Okay. Let us see. Do you have your Quran with you? Yes. All right. Chapter 3, verse number 61. Read it for us. Chapter 3, verse number 61. And if anyone disputes with you about him, hmm. after the knowledge has come to you, hmm. say, Come, let us call our children and your children okay. and our women and your women and ourselves and yourselves, hmm. and let us invoke Allah's curse on the liars. Okay. So where what, is the where is the where is the debate? Where does it say Najran? Where it says Najran? Yes. Well, you must have claimed it's the people of Najran, not me. Where? Where? There is many books. Where? It doesn't matter which book. It doesn't matter for me. Those are Christian, right? I got you busted. Okay, so if I show you it is Najran, you will accept that Muhammad is a fool. If you show me, okay, I'm saying to you, if I show you right now, you will accept that Muhammad is a liar. You will never find it. Okay, well, let us see if I will find it or not. 
Here we go. So now where is the debate? Until I find you uh, the, the story. What? Where we can find the debate, the debate. The Quran says, if those come to you and they want to debate you, the debate is about what, first of all? Is it about them with knowledge? About what? About who? Debating about who? About Jesus. Okay, how do you know it's about Jesus? The Quran says. Well, in the verse it says that? It says, behind, the likeness of Jesus is in Allah's sight is that of Adam. He created him from dust okay. and said to him, be and he was. No, I'm asking you, how you know that this debate is about Jesus? Read, read the verse before it. Okay, the, the verse before it, what it says? Go ahead. It says, the likeness of Jesus in Allah's sight is that of Adam. He created, he created him from dust, hmm. then said to him, be, and he was. Okay, and what is the debate? The likeness of Jesus is the same as Adam. First of all, Adam and Jesus, they are not the same. Are they? How? You tell me how they are the same. Go ahead. They're both men. Okay, both are men, and but the Quran is not saying he is. This is the this is the likeness. The Quran is saying that both he said to them be and they was. Yeah. Okay. Did Allah created Adam by saying be and he was? Yes. Where it says that in the Quran? Right here. Where? He created from dust, hmm. then said to him be and he was. All right. We will go there in a second. This is your. Islamic interpretation. It says, وَهَذِهِ الْآيَةِ الْكَرِيمَةِ تُسَمَّ بِآيَةِ الْمُبَاهَلَةِ وَقَدْ ذَكَرَ الْعُلَمَاءِ أَنَّهَا نَزَلَتْ لِلْرَدَّ عَلَى نَصَارَ نَجْرَانِ Where did you get this from? Where do you think I get it from? From where? I, I can't see the screen, so I don't know. You don't, you don't know? No. Okay, let us see where this is coming from. فقال الفخر الرازي الفخر الرازي He said, and this is the interpretation. Who is he? Uh, he is your Muslim Imam. You don't, you don't know him? You never heard of him? I've never heard of him. Okay, well, what about we go to Ibn Kathir? قال okay. Ibn Kathir ما ملخصه كان نزول هذه المباهلة وما قبلها من أول السورة إلى هنا في وفد نصارى نجران. Go to Ibn Kathir. Okay, but you said to me it does not exist. I don't know who this guy is. Who you who you do not know him? Who? The the guy you just talked said. Okay, do you know Abu Al Bukhari? Yes. Okay, uh, did, did Al Bukhari says that too? I don't know, show me. Okay. Uh, but do you know Al-Bukhari, right? Yes. All right. Let us see. Let us go first to Ibn Kathir. This was one of the lies that, that uh, Farid responds. He, he busted you with. Well, I am the one who got him busted because this is Nikathir. Where? I mean, this guy, he keeps saying to me, where? Uh, okay, hold on. We open the interpretation of Ibn Kathir, you will find it. Now, Ibn Kathir is a liar like your, it looked like your uh, Fifi. Because why Fifi, he accept Ibn Kathir when he want, he don't accept Ibn Kathir when he want. Let us go to the verse. Chapter 3, verse number 61. <clears throat> so, Fifi, he told you that those are not the people, the Christian from Najran? Yes. He said that, you swear? You can watch the video. No, I don't watch his video. He's too small for me to watch his videos. I did already bust him many times, so it's done. I forgot what he said. Okay. But he said anyway, already, already, you, already you swear. Here we go. Everybody heard you saying I swear. Here we go. It says here, this is Ibn Kathir, and this is the website. I'm going to post it in the chat. 
All right. This is Ibn Kathir in English. Your Islamic does website. Say, does it say Ibn Kathir said it, or he did, or, or is he quoting someone else? My friend, Ibn Kathir. This is the book of Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir, when he say, when he quote, he is saying too. No, no, no. Because how he knew? Are you stupid or what? Ibn Kathir was not there. How he knew? In order to know, he have to be there. It, it in order for me to say, this is who they are. I have to be there unless I have. Then I have to quote Sahaba and companion those who was there. Correct? They quote all the interpretations. No problem. Here we go. It says that this is a delicate coming from Naj the Christian of Najran. Where? It's in the screen, and this is Ibn Kathir. I'll show it to you in Arabic, you do not know Arabic. I'm showing it to you now in English. Come, even English, you do not know? And I'm posting the link in the chat. So if you are watching the chat, you can click at the link and you can read from your side. So Fifi, he did lie to you. What do you think now? Why Fifi is lying? says the delegations of Christians from Najran came mm. to the Messenger of Allah mm. the delegation that consisted of 60 horsemen doesn't matter did they is, is it about you said you said to me prove to me that those are the Christian from Najran so are they or not they did you with you huh isn't it the Quran saying that those who they are they want to dispute what dispute with you tell me what dispute mean it, it doesn't say they came and debated my friend him. my friend it says and those who dispute what dispute mean argue okay is that a debate or not yes okay so they are coming to debate and now we we found that they are the christian but of Najran. so face. so you so your fifi it got busted it doesn't say face to face ah it doesn't say face to face they, they have a skype through people he is saying to them, bring your wife and bring your wife uh, my, and, and, and my wives, bring your kids and bring my kids. <laughs> so, th so this is not, uh, not face to face. So this is what as to us. Okay. I, I, I don't know. Okay. So agree with me now that Fifi is lying. Fifi and Mimi, you are a good person. And you have to be honest now. I show it to you in the screen what I can do more. It's a debate. The Christian, they came to challenge him. The coward. With this. So now me and you talking, debating about Islam. I say to you, bring your wife. What do your wife have to do with this? I, I don't know. My friend, no, you know. You are a smart person. Now that this is a stupid argument. Muhammad running away from debating the Christian. The same as Fifi says, I will challenge you. I will go anywhere to debate you. You do not need to go anywhere. I do not know go anywhere. You know, here we go. You call me by Skype. Finished. I mean, everybody knows that I don't go and uh, uh, make debate in the street. I don't do that. I do it behind my computer. Com comfortable. I'm resting. So they make excuse not to debate me. And now your prophet is doing the same. And now you call me. And you are a victim. You know, I'm not against you. You are a victim of the lies of those stupid people there. They lie to you and they say to you, it's not. not it doesn't say that, CP. And that's why you're calling me now. But it says that. Okay, uh, 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 prove that uh, there was an idol around the Kaaba uh, named Ahad. Prove that there is a uh, uh, idol around the Kaaba. His name is Ahad. Tell him, and then he let, I want to see what he says. Okay, there is a video, right? You, you know, you can you can go on uh, in YouTube. You can search for the videos. There's tons of videos about the idols around the Kaaba. They, 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 you Muslims have have movies about it. You said his name is Ahad. Okay, let me ask you. Are you making a challenge for me now? The same as the first one? Or you are just being a fool? I, like, if you can show me, it would be good. No, I'm asking you. Is that something he said to you? Yes. Okay, what he said to you? That, that uh, there was no idol around the Kaaba named Ahad. It was a fake. It is a fake? Yeah. Okay, it's a fake what? It, it, it doesn't exist. Ah, uh, this either does not exist? Yeah. 
Okay, well, let us see if it exists or not. If we go in the verse in the Quran, what it says, it says, Qul Allahu Ahad, correct? Yes. Okay. If, his, if he is Allah, what is Ahad mean? Qul Huwa Allahu Ahad. Okay, what Ahad say, mean? Say Allah is one. Okay, what? Uh, uh, the word Ahad mean one? Yes. All right. Okay, I will go right now in the Quran and I will type for you the word Ahad. Do you know how many times it appears? Uh, I don't know. Many times. Chapter 2, verse 102. Chapter 2, verse 136. Chapter 2, verse 285. 373. Uh, 384. 3, uh, 153. Which one you want to open? 443. All of them say that word Ahad mean one. Off. Not one. But this is a stylistic language. No, no problem. He is one off the word Ahad. The word Wahid mean one. The word Ahad is one but off. Allah, uh, do, Allah, do, Allah, do, Allah. Okay, you, do you speak Arabic? Uh, no, no, I can't speak. Sorry. Okay, I want you to ask Fifi to make a sentence which the word Ahad does not mean one off. Challenge. It, it may mean that in other places, but no, there's no other way. You cannot make any because here we go. Arabic language is Arabic language. It doesn't come in any way in any mean except this is what it's mean. It's mean. Either it is a name or Muhammad is being a fool using a word is not in Arabic. Like as an example, how would you determine this is uh, an idol? How I determine? Yes. Okay, because Allah, he said he is a Samad. What? Samad means like uh, one alone without partners. Without who is the one who that? said that? Who is the one who no. said that? You Muslims have a million interpretation for the word Samad and each one of you, he give a different interpretation. But why do you believe that Allah uh, needs to have a kid? Uh, why, why, why can't he be alone without... That's uh, a good God, question. Here we go. Okay, this, this is a good question. Look what your God, he said to you. I will let your God answer you. He said, how Allah can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend? Did Allah say that? Show me. Okay. Here we go. Your God, he says, how you, how you, you know, uh, uh, how you say that Allah have a son when he don't have a girlfriend? Read it, chapter uh, 6, verse 101. Uh, my laptop is going to die, so can I just go charge it and I'll call you back? Before you go, does it say without having a girlfriend? Where? Chapter 6, verse 101. How can he have a child when... There is for him no consort. Okay, consort exactly. Yeah, he's he's talking about um, the 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 people. Um, they, they they thought that they they needed. Um, they he uses their uh, their 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 mindset. No, hold on. But those people don't believe that Allah have sex and he have a son. None of them. Neither the Christians believe that God have a son because have sex with Mary. Neither the pagan Arab, neither the pagan Arab believe that uh, the, the, their God have sex with uh, with who? What is the name? What is the name of the it, wife it, of Allah? Talk about uh, Christian here. What is the name? Okay, you are talking. Thank you, you guys. He said he is talking about the Christian. Okay, do the Christian believe that God? No, I said I said it does not talk about Christian. No problem. It's talking about who? About the pagan? About uh, yeah, there's so many uh, uh, people who believe. My that friend. Okay. Allah, He said there's no way for him to have a son unless he have a wife. Correct. Yes. All right. Now. No, 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 I did not say that. The Quran says that actually not a wife, a girlfriend. I, I, God can do anything. No, he said it clearly. He cannot. It says, how can he? Yes. How can he? Like, okay. Using our logic. Okay. He is using our logic. How can he using our logic? That's wonderful. What is our logic? Be, uh, like, you human think that you, uh, people thank you very much so Allah Allah here Allah here being stupid because he is using my logic to explain himself 
Because if Allah is God, he can do everything. So he should not use my logic to explain what he can do, what he cannot do not. Because he is God. This is the purpose of him being God, supposedly. God, he can do everything. So you don't say to me how I can have a son, don't have a girlfriend. That's mean he did lie. Because Jesus, the son of Mary, his mother, she didn't have a husband, correct? Yes. Okay, using our logic, Jesus, how Jesus, he can have a... Uh, how Jesus can exist and he have no father? Miracle. Uh -huh. So isn't it God? Can he do miracle or not? Your God saying, yes. no, I cannot do miracle. No, he said that. He said how he can have a son. Yes, because he's not a human. Okay, let me ask you. Did your God... believe that God is a man. Okay, did your God... He said, did, did, says that okay, did God your, is not a man, but Christians believe that God is a man. Okay, let me ask you. Did your God Allah, he said, if I want to have sex with a female, I will take it from our kind? What? Did your God Allah say, if I want to take a partner, a girlfriend, I will take it, I will take that partner from our self? What, what do you mean? A partner for sex. God has sex? Your God. Not my God. Maybe that Christianity, not Islam. Okay. Sorry. What if I show you the interpretation? What you would do? You will not find it. Okay. Is that uh, something no, Fifi told you, or this is your own? Will say that God had sexual intercourse. All right. Let us see. Well, it doesn't. I mean, you see, you you want the Quran to say Allah have sex intercourse? That's not what I'm saying. Your God, Allah, saying, if we want to have a partner, women for sex. We will take it from ourselves. Did he say that or not? If he want to have a son, he chooses a son from him. From him, okay. Him who? But I thought Allah he is never one. Did that? I thought Allah is one. How him? How Allah will choose a son from him? If, uh, from the, the the angels. Okay, from the angels. But it says in the Quran, it says from ourselves. Is the angels is one of Allah kind? Are you saying that Allah himself is an angel? Because when you say from ourself, that means he's one of them. Uh, when, when, when the, the female. So he said, if we want to take a lahu, lahu is a female woman. If we want to take a woman for fun, uh, for sex, we will take it from ourself. Min ladunna in kunna fa'ilin. So if we want to take it from ourselves, we will take it from our. If we take a woman, we will take it from ourselves. Okay, how you say from ourselves if they are not from ourselves? When I say ourselves, that's mean me and people like me. We are a group, right? Because we're talking about taking a partner in the bed. I'm not talking about, because if I'm talking about we as a majestic as you said, but he cannot be because this is this is mean he will have sex with himself. He's here talking about taking a partner, correct? If, if, he, if he desired... No problem. Forget about he desired or not. But he is saying, if we want to take a partner, we will take that partner from ourselves. So it cannot be himself anymore because talking about a partner and she is a female. That's wonderful. So it's a female and that female from ourselves. How this female can be from ourself if Allah is one and there's nothing like him? How she can be going under the bracket of ourself? No, 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 no you're misunderstanding. Hmm. It says if he wanted a son, he would choose like a, a, an angel or... or my friend, a, a, my friend, my friend. Like that. You see, the Muslim... Um, okay. I, I'm a son. No problem. You see, the Muslim are doing their best to defend the stupidity of the Quran. But the word in Arabic is lahwan and lahu means female. Female. You can open, go right now, read interpretation. Lahu mean a female. So it's a female, he will take her as what? As a partner. And he chose the word lahu, he did not choose the word women because it's a female for fun, which means for sex. So in if we want to take a female for sex, we will take from ourselves. So this female is from ourself. How ourself can be my creation? Unless I created myself and I created ourself and myself is many. I don't know. Hmm. But think about it. 
I, I, I appreciate your honesty. When Allah He said, we're going to take this woman from ourselves, and He called this woman, He did not say from people I created, He did not say from people I desire. No, He said, ourself. Ourself is our kind. You see, when I when you say uh, ourself to you, and obviously there's many like me, not only alone, and whoever those many, they are the, from my family, maybe. You know, we are from the same kind, the same ethnic, the same tribe, etc. This is what ourself mean. So how Allah is one, and yet He is calling Himself ourself, and obviously here cannot be the normal answer of the Muslim. They give us this is majestic. Uh, this is uh, Allah he called himself we this is not the case because simply here Allah is talking about taking somebody as a sexual partner uh, um, I don't know my friend I, I, I don't I don't think it, it says what you're saying I'm showing you the screen it's in the screen. And not only that, here we go. Qal al Jawhari, because Muslim they might lie to you and say, uh, uh, it doesn't say that, CP. Here we go. Qal al Jawhari, Qawlahu Ta'ala, Law Aradna and Natakhida Lahuan, Qalu Imra'a. And Natakhida Lahuan, Wallahu al Mara Birugat al Yaman. My friend, your, your laptop is not dead yet, so we, uh, just it's, keep talking. It's 3%. Okay, my friend, just keep with me. A few minutes left, and you will leave Islam. That's why you are you want to run. You are you are out of Islam already. I can tell. It's gonna turn. It's gonna turn off in like three. Okay, hook up the computer. Where is the where is the charger? Hook it up. Don't hang up. It's downstairs. I have to go get it. All right. Thank you. Okay. Hold. <laughs> Poor Zaki. Zaki, he listened to Mimi and Fifi, and Mimi and Fifi, we get them busted easy. This is why they don't dare to call me. You see, the reason they don't dare to call me, because they knew what will happen. Their argument is good as long as they are talking to themselves, and most of them agree whatever they say. Right? How Allah is one, he says he want to take a partner from ourself. I mean, this is stupid. And secondly, I mean, how in the world does God, he want to take a partner anyway? The Muslim, they will say, well, if he liked to do it, did he do it? I don't care. You see, the second you say, it is possible, it became possible. It is not in the impossible. And then what make it more funny that the Muslim they say that Allah will take a partner from among the beautiful eyed Huris. But the Huris they have big ass, one mile ass, big private part, big boobs, nipples. What is that? Allah will take a partner with angels? I thought Allah take no partners. And when the Muslims agree that the word lahu mean a woman, like some of them they say mean a child, some of them they say mean a woman. The majority they say mean a woman. And this is how confused they are. And yet the Quran says we made it clean for uh, clear for you. The Quran is very clear. And I can't tell how clear it is. It's very shocking for them, you know, they listen to the Abdul, who they claim they can answer Christian Prince, but reality is a different story. Anyway, we'll give him a little bit time to call back or, you know, we finish for today. So do you see, guys, how 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 they they uh, always and always, by the way, uh, I feel sorry for them. I mean, this person, Zaki, I don't think he's a bad person. But the easiest way to escape 
to make any excuse. I don't know. I mean, what do you mean we don't know? And look, if we go to the Quran, the first verse he called me, he said that there is no debate. Uh, he said, no, there is a debate. Okay. Allah, he mentioned to us, bring your, your children, bring your wife and bring our wife, but he forgot to mention to us the debate. I mean, how stupid this book is. Allah have time to tell us about Harut and Marut and the flying carpet of Suleiman. He have time to tell us about the ant who was talking to the ants. And he didn't have time to tell us about a debate. Very interesting debate will be between a... Imagine we have a debate between not Mimi, Hijab, and Susu, and Fufu, between Muhammad himself and the Christian. That would be wonderful. We cannot find it. Allah don't have time for that. He have time to tell us that when Suleiman was walking a brother, walking down street, he heard an ant. And the ant said to the other ant, hide otherwise Suleiman will crush you. Very important story. And by the way, ants don't speak by voice. Because the Quran says it clearly. min qawliha. He laugh at her speech and don't talk. They communicate, yes, like all creatures. They have, let's say, their own language, but it's not by talking. Ants are deaf. Their communica communication by vibration, like Morse code, but they don't hear it, they, they feel it, or by chemical. How this is going to be from God? So does God have time to tell us this silly, stupid story which is taken from the legion of the Jews? This is a story the Jews they tell to their kids before they go to the bed. Muhammad, he put it in the Quran as a real story. And then Ibrahim, Allah, he taught Suleiman the language of the birds. Okay, he taught him the language of the birds. How he understand the language of the ants? I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid religion more than this? Look. Three verses before it, it says, And Suleiman was David higher, and he said, O mankind, Lu have been taught the language of the birds. Okay, wonderful. Allah, he taught him the language of the birds. How he was able to understand what the ant is saying. Maybe in the discovery channel of Allah, animals have different uh, categories. So all of this is not enough for you to prove that Muhammad is a fraud. What happened, Zaki? He, he will not call, I know. He was just trying to go. I feel sorry for him. I, I will pray for you, Zaki. I will pray for you that you will, you know, you will not be fool and you will leave Islam soon. Actually, I can tell you from his voice, he's out. Right, so this is what Allah have for us, and talking and the guy Suleiman he died and he was standing holding his stick for almost six months or a year, depending on the story, and nobody noticed, brother. And then how they notice? Because Allah he made the ant eat the stick, the staff. I mean, imagine guys, this imagine die standing hold the stick, the prime minister come. Let us say there's a prime minister. Let us say the ministers, the foreign minister, the security, the marines. But nobody noticed his wife. Mel he did the, he don't answer. Nobody noticed that he's dead. Not a single person noticed that Suleiman is dead. He's a king. This guy is a king. He's not like a person who lives in the cave in the middle of nowhere. Nobody knows what happened to him. He dies standing on a stake and nobody noticed that the king is dead. It must be a true story. So all those story for you, my friend Zaki, is not enough to prove that Muhammad is a fraud. And you are calling me because Fifi told you this is not about the Christian of Najran. <laughs> and by the way, I don't accept any story in your books. I'm showing you from your books, not because I believe in it. 
all your books are fraud the same as your prophet all right well this is what happened when you listen to Fifi and Mimi and Cece and Didi and this is explain why they don't dare to call me Mimi Hijab he said do you like me to call Christian Prince to, to debate him people believe him that he will debate Christian Prince I, me myself I could not believe it and what happened when we call him play this video mute him hang up where is the debate you coward potatoes they are very much intimidated What you will lose if you call me? You will lose your virginity. Allah will give you a reward. But look what happened. The liar he lie. Muslims they call me, they get him busted. All right. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to stay longer. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for those who support us. I appreciate you all of you. Uh, thank you for those who download the video and add subtitle from Indonesia, from Pakistan, from everywhere. May the Lord bless you and give you what you deserve uh, for your work. Uh, thank you for those who donate and support our our, our work. And uh, trust me, my friend, there is no better name, name that Christ the Messiah. While those people, they are following the most deceived, false fairy tale tailor, Muhammad, flying carpet, Asking the donkey if you like females, even his question to donkeys, even the first question Muhammad asking for an animal, the first time Muhammad speak to an animal, he's asking him about his private part. Do you like females? So my friend, I'm a Christian for a very simple reason. The word Messiah by itself is amazing, powerful name. The word of the Messiah is in the Bible. Go and read the wisdom and compare between an amazing, beautiful words and teaching and ethic and practice because talk is cheap. Jesus, he do what he say and he say what he do. Go and see the knowledge, go and see the wisdom, go and see the power, go and see the healing, go and see the miracles, and go and see that the Messiah, even in the cult of Islam, he is right now as we speak alive. As we speak right now, my friend, the Messiah is alive. Even the Muhammad and in the yellow pages, they believe in that. The question is why? They will tell you he will come back and he will be a judge. Why? You know, just take it in a simple way. I don't know how educated you are. Imagine you are watching a movie and everybody die except one. And the one who stay alive is the one who will bring victory. Who is that? Who is that? Isn't it obvious? Even in their stupid cult, the one who will bring victory is the Messiah for he is victorious. For he is the Alpha, for he is the he is the Omega. And look, the Quran stole the names of the Messiah, Muhammad, and he said that his God is the light. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. This is one of the names of Jesus long before Muhammad. And the funny they say to you, where Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. Jesus said, I am the truth. Allah, he said, I am the truth. Muhammad stole the name of Jesus. He gave it to his fake God. I am the resurrection, Muhammad, he called himself, his God, the resurrector. I am the first, I am the last, Muhammad, he took exactly the same name. He put him in the Quran. Everything the Messiah, he claimed, proved that he is God. And yet they say, where Jesus says, I am God, when the God of Islam is taking the names of Jesus, trying to use them to prove that he is God. But yet he have no miracles, chip it wisdom, if we can call it wisdom, I can call it whiz and dumb. Nothing whiz, dumb about it, except whiz and dumb. Stupidity, 
is amazing, and a human being must be so stupid to believe in such a cult for a second. If a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how fool are you? Do you understand me, my friend? If a fool like Muhammad can fool you, how fool are you? That is my message for all of you. I pray that the Lord will open the eyes of all of us. I pray for the Muslims, for Zaki. I pray for every single one of us, every single person who believe or don't believe to see the truth and the truth will set him free. That is the teaching of my Lord. Search the books, read it. Not like the Quran chapter 5, 101. The Messiah, he encourages you to ask questions. Search the books, read the books and find the truth and the truth will set you free amazing for he is the truth and this is what you will find when you read the books his name is holy his word is holy and his act is holy that is my lord who is yours who is yours in fairy tales stories and stupidity time will come and those who reject him they will suffer and they will see nothing but sorrow time will come when there is no time to come be wise be ready with your oil prepare yourself for the coming messiah when he come, he will come with the glory of his angels. King of kings, judge of judges, perfect justice. And he will be not the same as we saw him first time. Because it's the time for judgment. And judgment come with justice. You will get what you deserve. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. I hope to see you soon again, maybe tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe if you like what we do. And don't forget to unsubscribe if you don't like what we do. Because either way, you are the winner or the loser, not me. God bless you and have a great weekend. Take care.